Hello, friends, family, and followers. Um, I wanted to give an update. Um, I spoke with my specialist on Monday, and um, we have decided that it is time to go for second CRS and high pec. And the reason for this is I have been um, losing weight um, because I've lost my appetite. I don't really want to eat because it, it causes discomfort and pain and my digestive system is just really unpredictable again. And it doesn't matter what I eat, if it's the same thing, it's, I just never know what's gonna happen. Um, but the most concerning thing is the discomfort and pain that I've had, which sound like partial bowel obstructions. And they're most likely caused from my hernia. I have a hernia that needs to be repaired but it could also be disease on the small bowel, which is where it was before. Um, and I'm not thinking about all the what ifs. My surgeon is great. He discusses all of this with me. So I'm just basically repeating what he has said. Um, either way, um, the plan is to go in there, open me up and um, fix the hernia at minimum. And if there are any issues with the way my, my bowels are, maybe there's a loop or something in there, he would fix it to make sure I don't have issues after that. But the plan is to go on for a full CRS and high pec. And um, worst case scenario would just be fixing my hernia. So there's all those what ifs. I don't think about them. I'm, I mean, I do rarely, but I don't sit in it because it doesn't help me at all. And so I, try to keep as busy as possible and I disassociate <laughs> with myself pretty much and just stay extremely busy and distracted. That's how I deal with it. Um, I prefer to use my time helping other people than to sit around and feel sorry for myself. And that's the other thing I wanna say. So now that you know what's going on with me, um, please don't pity me, don't feel sorry for me. Um, that's exactly what I, I very much don't like in this whole situation. I really don't like, oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I feel sorry for you. This isn't fair. Um, I The fair one, I really, really dislike. Anyway, I am doing fine. I am physically fine. I'm just very, very fatigued from probably not being able to eat very much. Um, but I'm still very strong and I'm doing almost everything. I just don't have much energy. It's a repeat of what it was like before um, when I was diagnosed. So um, we're planning on surgery in mid to late April. I haven't picked a date yet. And that's my choice to wait that long because we have a lot to do around um, our property with our animals and weather and stuff. And we warm our home off of wood stove heat. And I remember I had surgery in March and it was just so cold. And with nobody being here at the house all the time, I just felt for the animals. So um, I'd rather wait till it's a time where indoor and outdoor stuff is we don't have to worry about it and that that would just be convenient however if i need to go in sooner i can um and i'm also going to resume immunotherapy on top of i have a couple more iron infusions right now um they're hoping that will help with my low energy but i don't think so i've also done one of those oximeter sleep things um it's not really a sleep study but you have to sleep with it on and it checks to make sure that you're breathing i guess um, so that's what's going on with me. I just wanted to give an update and, um, let you guys know and see that I'm doing fine. I'm going to continue everything I normally do. I'm not sitting around crying. That doesn't mean that I don't have panic attacks or anything. I do. I just don't allow myself too much time for that. And that's how I handle it. Um, everybody's different in that. Some people really need the time to process and that's great, take the time to process, do what you need to do. Um, but for me, I just wanna keep doing my thing and stay busy. So that's where I'm at and I'm wishing everybody happy holidays. And um, I know it's been really rough for a lot of my friends in this community. Um, there have been a lot of people that have passed away um, this year and last year, and that's been really rough. And um, I feel every single one, and I feel for everybody that's still here. 
uh, grieving and um, just know that I'm thinking of you too. And I know that sometimes it's really, really hard to deal with the holidays um, when you're going through that, but just know that there's always somebody there for you. So anyway, thank you so much for listening and have a good day. Bye everybody.